Okay, so welcome back to more Glee Reactions. We're on Season 1, Episode 8 today. Last episode, it seems like they were going this route where they tried to make you feel sorry for Queen. At least that's what I felt like. Uh, I didn't feel sorry for her, and I don't think I'm going to feel sorry for her, because I just can't be sympathetic towards her, knowing that she cheated, and that like, she's lying to, to Fina. I, I don't know if that's just me, but like I just did not feel sorry for her. And I thought that whole scene, what was like a minute of a musical, like based around her and trying to make us feel sorry for her, and it just did not work. I was just like... All right, I don't know. Maybe that's just me and I'm a dickhead, but don't feel sorry for her at all. Last episode also had one of the most ridiculous scenes where it just it really hit me. It, it really just slapped me in the face and I was just thinking, what is this show? Like, it was just the biggest moment of what is this show? And it's where they're at the baby scan and Terry's getting her kneecaps fucking scanned and Will's crying over it. I know I sound like a broken record, all right, but I cannot fucking believe we are eight episodes in and she is still carrying on this. I ha Oh, God. Please let it be over soon. Please, God, let it be over soon. I don't see how long she can go on with this life for. Come on. How is he not noticing certain things? Like, there's no bump. You've got the doctor telling stupid ass lies about why he's got like a screen covering. Ah, oh, God, I don't know. Will, man. You need to put two and two together. We also had Will and Sue go at each other's throats the entire episode. That was basically the whole point of last episode. Not gonna lie, I'm digging Sue's character. Every single time she comes on screen, you know she's gonna say some outrageous, shocking shit. And you're just going to be left, like, speechless. Just like, she is a funny fucker. She she had to be one of the most fun characters to write on this show easily. Like, you just make her spew random shit. So, as always, before I start these videos, I'll be uploading the full uncut, unedited reaction to my Patreon. So, if you are interested in that, the link will be down below in the description. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. You're going to get thrown in Rachel's face. Come on, Rachel's always the one who gets this thrown in her face. What was the point of that? It just sort of happened every episode and it just stopped. Uh oh. Oh shit, never mind. What the fuck, man? What? What? Oh yeah, because everyone knows. But we just threw a drink in your face, swinging one in the face. How are you letting someone throw a drink in your face and you're not swinging them? I don't understand. We need to at least be in the same room when the marriage is certified. What's the point of even getting married? The problem is we can't decide on the song. Yes, I would like to have I Could Have Danced All Night. I want the thong song. I need something I, I can see. my money maker to. I can see there's, where there's a problem here. Um, but it's the emster here you really have to work with. I had a monster case of athlete's foot a couple years back. I had to get all my toenails removed. So she steps on my feet during the dance, I might pass out. Put him right off his cookie. Well done. Be very... It's okay, Rachel. I guess I'm going to have to show these guys how it's done. Oh, God. Decent, decent. Look, he gets in trip more than them. More than any of them. All of them combined. So, like, fuck him being a teacher. Just stick him on the front lines. Oh man, Will's got moves. Main extracurricular activity. And she got into Arizona State. I don't think she's listening anymore. Yeah, sunglasses are um really, really cool. I'm always seeing, you know, celebrities wear them. Totally. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why'd you have to go and say that to Finn? Food, so you have no idea. Why would you say that out loud, mate? What's wrong with you? Kids look. Man, when are these two just gonna get together? It was really bad. The fight was epic. Mm. The priest cried. They were divorced three months later. Nice. So maybe I shouldn't wear well, that gives you hope. No, 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 no. Just letting all the ladies know what guys talk about. Oh god, man, the cringe is fucking hitting me in the face so hard. <laughs> Well, why you usually... I love you, mate, but I'm not feeling this one. You better have Kendall walking, mate. I think you need a new dress. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're taking a bunch of heat because you like kissing dudes all of a sudden. Bro, Glee fucking made you win that game. Oh, shit. If only you knew. Working on his coming out of the closet speech or something? 
Mate, the joke weren't funny the first time, and it's not funny now. You tell Puckerman this when you see it. That practice is mandatory, no exceptions. So you're gonna have to choose what's more important to you. Oh shit, you gotta choose between football or Glee. He's gonna choose Glee. Sure. I know, it's whack. But I also remember what my history what? teacher told us last semester. Only Nixons can go to China. I have no idea what she meant. This is a bit out of the blue, isn't it? My family or I knew it was a dream because there's no way Rachel could have climbed up the wall outside my window with no shoes on. What on earth is this? Why? Rachel was a hot Jew and the good Lord wanted me to get into her pants. <sighs> oh, fuck, man. My father. I guess she's kind of desperate. Oh my god, she's picturing Finn. This has all come out of nowhere. What the fuck's sake? Uh oh, Finn's jealousy kicking in. So you knocked up his girlfriend and now you've st stolen the girl he likes. Without knowing, though. I'm very shocked he didn't start singing Wonderwall, you know? When there's an acoustic guitar in hand and you're sort of singing to someone, Wonderwall is usually the song that, that crops up. I mean, it's protected your eyes, though, isn't it? At least. You really showed him. Why can't people marry dogs? I'm certainly not advocating intimacy with your pets. I, for one, think intimacy has no place in a marriage. Walked in on my parents once, and it was like seeing two walruses wrestling. I'd this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. When she comes on screen, you just right leaves you lost for words. What the fuck, Sue? Have a little fondue. Sure. Okay. What? Bread, cheese. Sue's going on a date. What's going on? Why are the things in this show progress like at a Oh god, I love this show for what it is, I'll tell you that. Fucking It's like someone slaps randomizer on it's pressing randomizer. Like what is this? Is this a dream, a nightmare or what? This is definitely not reality. Teach you a few steps. I was hesitant. Wait, yeah, what? How horrible you were to me and the Glee This is real. You correct happy and nice and and you've been so cool with Quinn for brain her, you know, situation. Yeah, she's just a confused kid and the least I can offer her is my Sorry, compassion. where the fuck is Sue gone? But you What's she got saying up her sleeve? This ain't right. Bring it. Where's Finn? What? That is like the most unexpected thing. I expected I expected Puck to stay there and him to go. What the fuck, Sue? Still on for Saturday night? No. Bro, you don't want to anger Sue. She will fuck you up. God, what's the matter with me? I'm a stud and I can't even hold on to a chick like you. No offense. I mean, I offense. Because you're kind of a jerk. Kind of. I just hope we can still be friends. We weren't friends before. Bro, you're a prick, you know that. You're an actual prick. Puck the prick. I want to look in your eyes when I give you this piece of business. You're off the Cheerios. I can't have a pregnant girl in my squad. You're a disgrace. Oh, shit. This is why you don't double cross Sue. Because that happens. She. Fucking hates everyone as it is. Can't imagine getting hit in a kisser with one of these. Oh. You've never been hit by a slushy. Oh no. Um, They're gonna fucking do you in. Bring it on. Give me your best shot. One, two, three. Ah! Oh. From the top. You would not be cool with that. No teacher would be cool with that. No teacher would just be like, yeah, throw slashies on me. Like, what? Um, a lot of things in that episode happened, like, went from one to a thousand fucking within the space of, like, a second. The whole Puck and, and Rachel stuff, for a start, 
uh, the Sue stuff. Like, that, this all came out of nowhere. She was talking about intimacy and relationships, and that shouldn't be a thing. And then she instantly goes on a date and changes her view on relationships. And then it has that scene that just threw me off. I thought it was some sort of fucking dream or some shit where she's dancing with, with Will. Like, what? Listen, this was a good episode. You know why it was a good episode? There was no Terry throughout the entirety of it. There was no mention of some pregnancy stuff. It just, uh, she does my fucking nutting. And to not see her in the episode is just made me happy. Overall story for this episode, again, was someone, this time being Finn, debating whether to be in Glee Club or not. Like, I swear every episode has had that. Every episode. We're on episode 8, and I swear they've done this and resolved this, like, four times already. Um... You had Rachel do it, you had you had Finn do it at first, for the first time, then you had Rachel do it. And you got Finn doing it again, like um every single time they seem to work out as a group, someone has problems and leaves. Like it seems to be just a reoccurring thing at this point. The whole stuff with Will, Terry, uh, Ken and Emma, that that seems to be going on for too long as well, I think. Like it, it's so blatantly obvious. Not just to us as characters, uh, uh, us as viewers, obviously, but to them as characters. Like, to they know. Ken's aware, Emma's aware. They're all so aware. It's like, why is this carrying on? Like, why are you not with Emma? And the only thing that's holding up to give is the pregnancy stuff, which, once again, I said should have been wrapped up ages ago. I was fucking... Never... I don't think anyone likes that, do they? Does anyone, does anyone like that story? Like, they're all so aware. It's just a matter of him finding out that Terry's not pregnant now, and that's it, and that, that's all of that over. So, I hope that comes soon. But yeah, that was a decent episode. I was into it. Fun episode, as always. Um, you're always guaranteed for an, an, an entertaining episode with Glee. I, I give it that. It's always an entertaining episode. You're guaranteed to be like into it and enjoying it. So that was Glee Season 1, Episode 8. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers for watching.